Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel, and we are back at the PH1 Kitchen. When I originally booked the Ultimate Alaska Caravan, I thought it would only be for 62 days plus maybe a week before and maybe a week after. Well, as it turns out, I'm going to be gone for almost four months. So that's June, July, August, September, October. Well, part of June and part of October. So it's almost four months, maybe four and a half. And Walter and I take a lot of medications. So now we have a medication storage issue. What I originally was going to put our medications in was these 8.1 liter containers. This one was for Walter and then I had one. I don't think they're going to fit in these. So I got these, which is the 11 liter ones. They're, they're bigger than these. And we're going to see how much of the twice a day medication boxes I can fit into one of these. All right, follow along. This is my medication list. I know it's a lot. And this is Walter's. We're old and old people break. And essentially, once you turn 40 or 50, a lot of people don't tell you this, but things inside your body will just start falling apart. Okay, so it's about four weeks in a month. So it's one, two, three, and a half. What's gonna happen is somewhere along the trip, Walter will fly out of Anchorage for 11 days back to Vegas and he will drive to Irvine where he will fill all our prescriptions again because my prescriptions can only be filled in Kaiser. He goes through some other plan where he can just have it transferred to CVS. However, I'm the one who's problematic. <laughs> Kaiser does not mail out of the state of California so we do have to go back to our home in Irvine to get more of my prescriptions. And 
then he drives back to Vegas. From Vegas, he flies to Valdez via Anchorage. And that's where I will pick him up and we will continue on with the tour. So, let's see. Storage. <laughs> where am I going to put all these pills? Because these are just mine. Walters is back there. It's just a lot of prescription medications. Let's hopefully try to fit these into these storage containers. doesn't fit. Right. It is not fitting the 11 liter cases. Okay, these are the these are the 17 liter the same width and length as this one but it's taller where I can put this is actually underneath the bed right now I've got two big cases so one of them is gonna have to go all right more storage issues but we do need to take our meds okay the list Got what these were 17 the 17 liter one these are the 17 liter ones of the really useful boxes and this will go underneath the bed and I'll take out one of the big ones that is right now just being water is just being gallon jugs four gallon jugs are being stored in there so I'm just gonna have to take that out Medication is a little bit more important than the back, than the one gallon water jugs. This is Walter's. Oh, this is mine. You know what? I wonder if Walter's will fit in the oh, case one. All right, we'll meet up at inside Wanda, and I'll show you where I'm putting these. Here we are inside of Wanda. There's the sleep number bed. I'm gonna lift it and I'm gonna show you what I meant by the large tubs. Okay, right now, here is the large tub. There's four. One gallon water is in here. All right, this is the large tub. And this is the, the tub. For the medication uh, okay, two will fit 
This is the thinner one. Oh dear. And that will not fit. Okay, so what will fit are just the two medication tubs. And the larger one will not. Okay, welcome back to PH1. On my drive back here from Wanda, I was thinking maybe instead of having two of these compartments, I consolidate them into one. And that way I can still use the big bin underneath the bed. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm playing a very elaborate game of Tetris with these plastic bins, <laughs> trying to maximize the storage in the Airstream. Again, reality is setting in. The Airstream has very limited storage space. All right, hopefully this one will fit. Oh, and I got these easy liners from, I think it was Lowe's. Um, I lined the shelves with them in all the kitchens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up to go between the layers of medication boxes. Okay, I think this will work out better. What I did is I alternated our meds, mine, then Walter, mine, Walter, and we still have enough for one, two, three more rows. So, okay, I think this will actually work out better. So, meds all in one box. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching the Walter and Ariel Pharmaceuticals. Bye!